I can't click with one hand. Watch this. <laughs> so this is little Peter the penguin. And well, have a look at this look. This is my room at the minute. As you can see, it is jam packed with loads and loads of stuff. There's stuff everywhere at the minute. Inside of there is a load of mugs. We've got loads of stuff around here. And look at all this look. All this stuff is stuff. <laughs> there's loads of stuff. That's the thing, there's just stuff everywhere. And some of the stuff I've got is this. Hello, this is Sophie Lawson from sophielawson.com and this is another click look video where we click look at various art books and magazines and these are sort of art books. They're not really, they're actually story books but they've got bits of artwork in them. So I thought what I'd do is I'd do a little video about this. What it is is these are fighting fantasy books from the good old days back in the 80s and what they are is they're books where you basically read the book and what happen is it'll, you might say have to fight a monster and what happen is look it will say if you want to fight a monster let's say you want to fight you've got you got to make a decision it's like a choose your own adventure so you, you've got a choice you can fight the monster or you can run away so you can say if you want to fight the monster turn to page 75 you go over to page 75 and then you carry on reading so it's like the whole book it's got multiple endings and everything and so you can reread them multiple times i said to my mum these are a bit like video games in a book so what happened was yesterday me and my mum was going around the second hand shops and outside of the shop the second hand shop was, was this big box and inside it said free take it basically it said these these are free you can have them and when I looked inside, I, I went through them, I suddenly realised what they were. They're, fight, they're fighting fantasy books. And there's, I think there's 26 of them in total. So I got these all for free. And the thing is, some of these, like these ones here especially, they're worth about 30, 40 quid. I'm not sure if they, they will be because look at this, the condition of some of them is a bit, it is a bit crazy, especially that one. But most of them are actually not that bad condition really I think a couple of them are falling apart one of these ones was falling apart as well but I thought I'd do a little video just going through them because I'm really excited for these the thing is I was actually going to buy some of these I was talking to somebody on one of the YouTube comments a few months ago about these books these fighting fantasy books so I was actually going to buy some online so the first thing I got is a, I got a set of three which is Steve Jackson's The Sorcery Epic, parts two, three and four. So we're actually missing the first part. So I'm gonna keep these together. But what I love is, you get the, the story, but look how cool these are, look. Like the, the quality of the artwork is what I love, but inside of it, you get all these little images. But look at this, look. You get like little, little, um, illustrations as well so what I love is you really get into this I haven't read one of these for years I used to read these in the 80s look at that look so like, as you're reading and you've also you get like um you actually get like point like st st like stamina look skills stamina and luck yes yeah, so you're supposed to like play roll a dice and that so these are actually proper games within a so what we've got is we've got the crown of the kings i don't know how to say that city port of traps the seven serpents so for, what i thought was i'll keep those three together because they're like a little set <laughs> cling film is very cool as well super cheap and it's it's a good way to keep keep things like a little bit a little bit safer so what have we got here We've got Trial of the Champions, Ian Livingstone. And the fact that these are showing signs of ageing, I love that. Somehow it makes it a bit more special to me, the fact that they're ageing. But look at these, look, illustrated by Brian Williams. This one was 1986. So we've got all these little... 
I just I love the artwork in these. That's the thing, you could sort of you could sort of buy these just to look at the artwork. That's right, look at that look. Very cool. Trial of the Champions. Masks of Mayhem. But you get a little map as well of the which I think's cool. I don't, I've noticed that on a few of them. Look at that little creepy thing. <laughs> it's cool, isn't it? Look, look at that. I love this idea. When I saw that these these were free, here they are. Look, the sexy little guys. How <laughs> uh, cool are they? Look, I love his shirt. We got this one as well. Creature of Havoc. Look at that look. Oh this one look, another monster thing. It's brilliant. Hey, look at that look. A little um I like that. Look we got this one here, Crypt of the Sorcerer. Cover illustration by Les Edwards. Look, they're all um, firing. Look, see, I, when I look at these, I actually look at it and sort of look at the perspective of it. It's quite weird that we, how you start looking at. Look, that's brilliant. You start looking at things differently when you sort of start when you start drawing. You look at. You can't help but look at drawings. And sort of, sort of critique them a little bit, I suppose. My nails are getting really dirty lately. Don't know why that is. Dragons, I like dragons. Battle Blade Warrior. He looks a little bit like the guy off of Thundercats. Is it Sliv Sliver, Slimer, something like that? Look at this look. You can really get lost in these. Oh look. Brilliant. Whoever did the illustra I like the illustrations on these. Illustrated by David Gallagher. Look, you got little um, adventure sheets as well. <laughs> it's quite cool, isn't it? Freeway Fighter. Hey, it reminds me a bit of Ricky Gervais. Free love on the free love. What's it? Free love on the free love highway. This one is an ex library book. There's a couple of them like that. This is a bit like Road Blaster. Hey, do you remember that game on the. Was it Amiga? Road Blaster, 1985. Look, I love this. So this one's all going to be like futuristic vehicles and stuff. <laughs> That's quite cool, that is. I wonder if it's got any uh, monsters in it. No, it all seems to be vehicles. Oh, look. Look at a little lady. Hey, we've got a little alien thing. The Rings of Kitar. He looks a bit weird, doesn't he? This is like another futuristic one. Nick Spender did the uh, illustrations. It's quite weird that they didn't pick that they didn't use I wonder why they didn't use the same artist for all the illustrations. So this one's a very sort of line art one. Cool. The vibe in these is brilliant. Appointment with fear. <laughs> F-E-A-R. Crazy, he does. Dedicated to BJ, a superhero in his own way. Yeah, I like that they went with different artists though, because it, it does, you can feel a different vibe. So, right, this one's very ink heavy. Lots of inking going on in this one. He's chopped his head off, look. 
we've got a page here, which I'm not sure where it goes. Page 17 and 18. So we'll have to look how like beautiful it looks when something's aged. It's brilliant. This one here, the Warlock of Fire Top Mountain. 20p look that was. Bargain. I like this one. Russ Nicholson's done the artwork on this. Looks like there's gonna be dragons and stuff. Look at him look. Look happy chappy. Ah oh, this one's falling apart look. Yeah this one's all... Well it's still intact, it's just falling apart. I like that one. This might actually be the one with the missing page maybe. No, 17. Space Assassin. So some of these are like fantasy, some of them are sci-fi. Jeffrey Senior did the artwork on this one. Again, another ink heavy one. Cool, look. Futuristic wasp thing. Look, some crazy, look, the art, that's amazing, that. I wonder if they've actually got prints of these in colour. I wonder if you can actually buy prints of the artwork from these. How cool is that? The Citadel of Chaos. I like this. It even reminds me of the, um, they were called Critters. Again, another, I think it was 19, 1990s, early 90s. A film series, this film called Critters. <laughs> Which is cool. What's that? Somebody's done a little thing there. 1984 alert the date on that. Missing the front page. But so how old is that then? 1984? What's that? That's like nearly 40 years old. No wonder they're falling apart. This one was first published in 1983. Oh, look at that. How cool is that? Like sort of goblin things. Yeah, this is like when you're in the, those games where you're in a maze, you got to walk forward and then you say left, right, north. Well, it used to be north, south, east, west. <laughs> yeah, it's like you're in a dungeon, isn't it? Look at those guys, look. The Forest of Doom. Ian Livingstone. That's nice. Who did the artwork on this one, I wonder? Malcolm Barter. Yeah, not as much inking going on in this one. A little bit, a bit like Skyrim, that one. Starship Traveller. Look at that, look. Proper retro, this one. Peter Andrew Jones did the, the artwork for this one. Again, another inky one. Look at that. Cool. City of Thieves. Love that. Love the... I love the art. Look, £1.50 it was when it first came out. Bargain. Who did the artwork for this one? Ian McCraig. McCaig. There's a wizard. Got a little wizard. I don't think I've seen. Hey, look at that. Look at that. Look. Lady, lady serpent thing. Sexy lady turn. That is amazing. See, the thing is, you can actually cut that out, I think, and put it on the wall. These things are beautiful. Oh, we've got, oh yeah. It just adds a bit more atmosphere, like, what's it called? Immersion. The fact that they've put that little note inside of a scroll adds to the immersion. I think that's, what's this here, look? That's what, look, sexy. That's the thing with these books. Immersion, that's the, that's the key word, I think. 
Death Trap Mountain. Loads of eyes. Some sort of reptilian thing. Hey, Ian McKay, he did. First artist I've seen who did more than one. That's beautiful, isn't it? Skills. I like all these little things as well. Uh, you could sort of copy that yourself, just to... Cool. Island of the Lizard Kings. Lots of reptilians going on here. A thrilling fantasy invention, adventure in which you are the hero. Also reminds me of that there used to be a, a TV program on in the... I think it was the 90s as well, called Nightmare. No, what was it? Alan Langford. Oh, cool. Even that as well. Yeah, it's brilliant, that. Oh, I love that artist. Island of the Lizard Kings. Caverns of the Snow Witch. The vibe in that again is a bit like um, Boris Vallejo. Who did the artwork on this one? Gary Ward and Edward Crosby. So two artists shared it this one. Somebody's filled out their thingies. <laughs> Look, pickled onions. That's a very unique style, that one. I wonder how they, um, I wonder, I like that. Oh, he's actually coming out of the square, as if he's coming out of the picture. Yeah, and that one. Very creepy, that one. House of Hell. Tim Sell did the artwork for this one. Oh yeah. God, look at that, look. That's brilliant. Phantoms of Fear. Ian Miller did the artwork. Cool. Nice simple shapes on that. Oh, look at that, look. Serpents again. This is so cool, look. Now these four are worth quite a lot of money actually. Dead of Night. Martin McKenna did the artwork for this one. Again, very atmospheric that. Huh? I wonder if you play the role of a little, what they called, like a little dwarf or something, a little... Creepy. Power of Destruction. You did the art. Oh, look at that. Cool. Pete Kift Pete Kifton did the artwork. Little warrior. Not many um, big ones in this. That's what she said. <laughs> Lots of inking. Oh, weird. Like he's in an ice cavern. Oh, I like that look. How cool is that? Island of the Undead. They've got brilliant names as well for these. No map on this one. But Devon Library it come from. 
Who did the art? Russ Nicholson did the artwork. Oh yeah. Froggy things. Mm -hmm. I love all these little thingies going on. Skeleton. Yeah, again, it's like Skyrim. This was like Skyrim before we had Skyrim for the immersion. And the last one is this one, Spell break Breaker. But the actual book is completely falling apart. Look, it looks like a creature has actually ripped with its claws, has gone and shredded the pages. But the good thing is the, all of the pages are actually in here. So it might be falling apart, but it is still complete. <laughs> it's quite cool. Alan Langford did the illustrations. Another lots of ink in. Look, very thick, thick lines. Very clean, that is. They must have done all this by hand as well. Which is quite incredible. The Pilgrim's Rest. Yeah, I'm going to read some of these. And Look at that little fire thing coming up there. That's it. I hope you enjoyed that. I just, I could not believe it when I realised what I, what I was looking at with these. And I said to my mum, how can somebody like give all these like give all these away? What it must be is people in a second hand shop probably just don't realise what they've got there. And that's the strange thing, isn't it? To somebody these are like worthless, they're, no they're nothing. Somebody else, these are amazing. And I feel like that's the same with everything really. But the good thing was everyone was happy yesterday because whoever put these into the charity shop is happy because they got rid of them so they've they've got their space back the charity shop's happy because i got i took them i actually gave them a little bit of money as well because i thought i can't just take these without giving them something so they're happy because they got a bit of money and i'm happy because i got all these little books <laughs> so everyone's a winner i think but i wanted to do a video of this because i thought it's br it brilliant and it just shows you what you can find out in the wild if you basically keep your eyes open because the thing was we walked past this box and you know like you see on the side of it it said free and you sort of think oh, it would just be a box of boring books or something but that's the thing you, you don't know what what's what's out there but the more you keep looking the more you're going to find stuff like this i hope you enjoyed that though it was a look at a load of final, what they call fighting fantasy books. <laughs> and I'll see you later for another one. <laughs>